the Greco-Punic Wars, also known as the Sicilian Wars, were fought between Carthage and the Greek city-states led by Syracuse in Sicily. These wars were fought for control of Sicily and the wider West Mediterranean between 480 BC and 306 BC. But why Sicily? Well, Sicily was located in the centre of the Mediterranean trade routes. It was a fertile source of agriculture due to its volcanic soil. For example, a ruler of Sicily could block or even tax trade routes. The seas had plentiful fish, so there were all the necessities to support a settlement, not to mention a great platform to use as a springboard to attack someone else in the Mediterranean. Sicily was populated by three local tribes, the Elemi to the west, the Sicani in the central area and the Sequoli to the east and they largely lived independently of each other. The Sicilian coastline was dotted with Phoenician trading towns from 900 BC but mainly in western Sicily and this included Lilibium, Martia, Drapana, Panormus, Solentum. The Phoenicians never really penetrated far inland as they were really interested in maritime trading. Extensive trade routes flourished between the natives, though, the Greeks and the Phoenicians. With the arrival of the Phoenicians and the Greeks to Sicily, the local Elemi, Sicani and Sichel tribes sequely withdrew inland. Of course this did not stop bloody wars breaking out. Well the mainland Greeks were expert mariners who also established thriving colonies throughout the Mediterranean. The Greeks colonized Sicily and southern Italy and it was this that was known by the Romans as Magna Graecia, Greater Greece. The Greek settlers were based in eastern Sicily including Lipari, Tindaris, Naxos, Leontini, Acre, Camarina, Catane, Messana, Himera and the two key cities of Acragas and Syracuse. It was Carthage that began to assert its power to resist what it perceived to be Greek encroachment into their zone of influence and it was they who fomented collective dissatisfaction and resistance by the local tribes. It was Carthage that began to assert its power and develop colonies after 540 BC as it was now becoming a major economic trading powerhouse in the Mediterranean. Carthage's power relied on its maritime trade and consequently it asserted its powerful navy to discourage both pirates and rivals alike. The increased success and power of Carthage expanded until it inevitably conflicted with Magna Graecia and the mainland Greeks, its major rival in the central Mediterranean. Ultimately it was this, the wealthy Greek cities expanding their territories in Sicily which triggered the First Sicilian War. By this time, Carthage had overrun the majority of Sicily after 540 BC. Nonetheless, Salinas and Himera continued to thrive, meaning a confrontation between Carthage and the Greeks was really a matter of time. In Sicily, the Ionian Greeks were in the northeast and they enjoyed friendly relations with the native Sicilians. But it was the Dorian Greek colonies in southeast Sicily who were aggressively expanding inland from the coast at the expense of the local tribes. Prince Dorius, a fallen Spartan prince, colonized Eryx, Eriche, in 510 BC. Carthage supported the local tribes to defeat Dorius, forcing the Greek survivors away to then found Heraclea Minoa. Cleander of Gela and his brother Hippocrates took over Ionian and Dorian Greek territory and in this way they managed the east of Sicily. Two imposing Dorian Greek tyrants rose to dominate Sicily 
Jelon of Jela and Theron of Acragas. Jelon, tyrant of Jela, captured Syracuse in a bloodless coup, with help from the army in 485 BC. Jelon changed former Ionian cities into Dorian ones, and made Syracuse the dominant city in Sicily. Syracuse increased in both its wealth and the size of its army. In 481 BC, Jelon fell out with the Athenian Greeks, and instead supported Xerxes I and his Persian army as they defeated the mainland Greek alliance. No doubt, Jelon was also well aware of Carthage's view if he allied with the Athenian mainland Greeks. Theron of Acragas seized control and ruled, and he took over Sicun and Sichel land. In this period, Acragas, Syracuse and Selinunte dominated Greek Sicily. Greek Sicily expended a huge effort combating the two aggressive tyrants of Gelon and Theron. Theron went to war with the city of Selinunte and then routed the tyrant of Himera from his city, Terillus. Terillus was far from beaten though. The three Sicilian power blocks were finally balanced in Sicily by 483 BC. The Ionians to the northeast, Carthage to the west, and the Dorians to the southeast. Anaxilas of Regium, which was Reggio Calabria from the Italian mainland, captured Zancle from Gelon and changed its name to Messana. The Sichels and Sicans sat warily in the middle, while the Elimi joined the Carthage alliance. Salinas, a Greek Doric city close to Theron's kingdom, chose to become a Carthaginian ally, perhaps as protection from th nearby Theron, after the destruction of Megara Hiblea, its mother city in 483 BC by Jalon. In 480 BC, Anaxilas and Terilus, the ousted tyrant of Himera, allied with Carthage to combat the Dorian Greek threat posed by Jelon and Theron. Carthage would not overlook this opportunity. So began the First Sicilian War, led by Hamilcar, the Carthaginian general, to resist the jelon theron alliance that was threatening to overwhelm the whole of Sicily. Carthage had dispatched its largest military force to date. The timing of the Carthage expedition to Sicily was interesting, in that it was in, it was in parallel with the Persian attack by King Xerxes I in mainland Greece. Albeit, there's no obvious evidence of collusion. The Carthaginian fleet suffered huge losses at sea due to storms. The ensuing delay gave a chance for the Greeks to regroup and prepare for battle. After landing at Ziz, the Punic name for Panormus, modern day Palermo, Hamilcar I was defeated and died at the hands of the combined forces of Theron and Jelon at the Battle of Himera, a devastating overturn. The surviving Carthaginian army mostly drowned in the storm on the way home. The Sicilian Greeks had beaten Carthage at Himera and the mainland Greeks had defeated King Xerxes. Carthage had to pay huge reparations. The Greek Sicilian cities of Gelon and Theron, the winners of the First Sicilian War, spent the peaceful years after the Battle of Himera arguing with each other. Meanwhile, Carthage used that same era of peace and prosperity to extend its dominions. Carthage had an era of exploration, crossing the Sahara Desert towards Cyrenaica, and Hanno the navigator made his exploration down the African coast. Unfortunately, at the same time, the Iberian colonies seceded, and this ended Carthage's supply of silver and copper. So instead, Carthage again tried to increase its influence across western Sicily, Sardinia and Malta to compensate this, and soon the successors of the Greek tyrants were overthrown. The syracuse acragas alliance soon splintered, as still multiple parties jockeyed to control 
Sicily would now trigger the Second Sicilian War. Mainland Greece, specifically Athens, was warring with Sparta at this time, and this was known as the Peloponnesian War. In Sicily, Dorian Greek Salinas and Ionian Greek Segesta unwisely resumed their arguments with each other. Salinas asked for support from Syracuse, while Segesta called for support from Athens. Salinas proceeded to defeat Segesta in 415 BC, and this triggered the disastrous Athenian invasion of Sicily in 415 BC. This Athenian expedition to Sicily took the opportunity instead to attack Syracuse as a potential ally for Sparta, rather than instead attacking Selenunte. The Athenian forces imposed the siege of Syracuse between 415 and 413 BC. Sparta and Corinth finally came to the aid of Syracuse and began to push back the Athenian invaders. In the end, the entire Athenian expedition was either executed or enslaved. A glorious victory for Syracuse. Segesta and Salinas could not be reconciled. Hannibal Mango set out for Sicily with a huge force in 409 BC in order to support Segesta to fight the Dorian Greeks of Salinas. Salinas promptly asked for Syracusan help Syracuse was very wary of a further war after its recent bloody siege. It sent support, but this never actually got further than Acrigas. The Battle of Salinas opened the Second Sicilian War. Arriving at Motia, the forces of Carthage and Segesta, led by Hannibal Mago, won the Battle of Salinas and sacked the city. Salinas never recovered from this event nor would it ever again rival Segesta. Joining with local forces, Carthage went on to attack Himera. During the Second Battle of Himera, the forces of Carthage proceeded to burn and pillage the city, torture and execute the men, and enslave the women and children in revenge for the earlier disastrous defeat at the First Battle of Himera. Hannibal chose not to attack Acragas nor Syracuse, the main opponents in the First Battle of Himera, but instead returned triumphantly to Carthage, weighed down with plunder in 409 BC. Syracuse and Acragas, the most powerful cities in Greek Sicily, now did nothing other than expand their forces in preparation for what was to follow. The maverick Syracusan general, Hermocrates, led a small attack against Lilibium, Motia and Drepana, deep into the Carthaginian territory. He hoped to inspire Syracuse and Acragas to act, and perhaps gain himself power in Syracuse. Hannibal Mago consequently led a second and ill-fated Carthaginian expedition to Sicily in 406 BC. The Sicilian Greeks were already patrolling the southern coast, hoping to intercept any invasion fleet. A sea battle ensued in 406 BC, in which both sides took heavy casualties. The Syracusan fleet were pushed back along the southern coast of Sicily. During the siege of Acragas, the Carthaginian forces suffered from plague, and in fact Hannibal Mago died of this. Himilco, his successor, sacked Acragas, captured Jela, he sacked Camarina and defeated the forces of Dionysus I, the tyrant of Syracuse. Suffering again from plague, Himilco agreed a peace treaty that retained the Carthaginian gains of Salinas, Thermae, which is Termini Imirese, Acragas, Jela and Camarina. This was the high point of Carthaginian power in Sicily. Join me for part two. Click here for some more videos you may be interested in.